can't believe I'm sitting thinking Do you love me, do you love me now? Cause I really hit the spot Tastes like candy, sweet like Pretty little girl, I see no need Pretty little girl, I see no need no. Alexa, all right guys so i'm just gonna hop right into it i'm taking an alcohol wipe to wipe off any excess makeup oils anything like that that will make my lace lift quicker so i'm taking my bold hold active and I'm using three layers. I use the same technique I use in all my videos. But since this is a closure, I just kept it into that um, spacing right there. So after I put in my first layer, I go ahead and use the popsicle stick to ver to make sure that it dries down clear, as clear as possible. Um, sometimes it gets really clear and then sometimes I would have to just move on forward. I did do three layers of the glue because I plan to wear it for a couple of days. Like I said in my previous videos, you don't have to do as many layers if you are more into wearing the wig for a couple of days. Um, one or two layers are fine. I feel like the Bold Hold Active really helps with um, harsh weathers because I live in Texas and it does get pretty hot and we are moving towards the summertime here. So it gets pretty hot and every time I've used the Bold Hold Active, I don't really see any lifting. It stays to the amount of time that it normally stays. Um, I wear my wigs, wigs every week. So I switch it out every week. But so I can't stand if it lasts a full two weeks since I don't use it for for the full two weeks. But it does give me a, a good amount of coverage. And I don't feel like it, it instantly lifts. So this is my i believe this is my second layer that i just used i did use a total of three i don't remember if i've already said that but i did use a, a total of three layers into this install um no that yeah that was the second layer so this is the last layer that i'm going to be using i'm going to again use the popsicle stick after i feel content with how much uh how tacky it gets i use a popsicle stick to go ahead and make sure that everything is fully laid down before I pull my lace up. I'm gonna pull my lace onto the glue. So you want the glue to be tacky, not too sticky, but not too dry. Um, I feel like that's the perfect amount of product to allow your lace to stay as long as possible. Like I said, I change my wigs every week, but I have worn, I have a current wig that I'm wearing right now. I wore it for two weeks already. And I can say that the Glow Hole Active does what it claims to do. I don't have the bottle with me right now, so I can't really dive in deep on what it says that it does. But it is a good purchase. I like this. I never used to like Bold Hold before. So after I tried this out, I, you know, I really was into it. So as you can see, this is again like a 5x5 closure. So I'm just shifting the uh, lace forward and pressing it into where the glue is. Um, it's not a full lace so I don't have to really worry about that and once I feel like it is pushed upward I take the end of my rat tail comb and press the lace into my skin so that it can lay properly now in this video the angling of how I set up my camera was really bad and I do apologize um, I think throughout the video you are going to see me go out of frame um, but I apologize that's why I'm trying to do a voiceover for this one so that you guys can understand exactly what I was doing at that time. So I'm just still using the rat tail comb to make sure that the lace looks like it's seeping it from within and you know it's giving very much scalp. Now after I feel content I take the comb portion of it and I comb it back and then I use the rat tail comb. I go back and forth between the rat tail portion of it and the actual teeth of the comb. So that's what you're gonna see me doing for quite some time. Um, nothing crazy. I've installed a five by five closure before on my channel. So if you want more of a detail, you can look into the other video. Um, but I believe that a five by five closure is the easiest wig to lay on your head because it's not a lot of space and it's, it's a quicker process, even if you decide to just use spray and go. So once I was content with how that was looking, I took my blow dryer on cool and just go, went ahead and blow dried the lace for a couple of minutes. And I believe after that, I did go ahead and use a little bit more of the red tail comb just to make sure again that it's 
very much giving scalp after that i took my elastic band wrapped that down for i think 10 minutes 10 to 20 minutes i don't recall this video is pretty old then after i took my wrap to uh, my um, my band off i noticed there's a few areas where it was lifting so i'm just cleaning up those areas by adding that bow hold active i'm in certain spots that i feel like weren't fully adhered to um to my scalp so that's what i'm doing right here i think i do it one more time um before i move on to the next step like i said as you can see i'm going off the of frame i do apologize i brought the camera way too close to me and i should have pushed it back out to give so you guys can see exactly what i was doing but it's pretty the same thing i did in the previous video especially the one i did of the 5x5 closure so if you have any questions you can leave it down in the description box below and I'll answer them and right here I'm just pulling out my baby hairs I normally don't really do the baby hairs on camera I believe in this video I did actually give you guys a full baby hair tutorial on how I uh, do my baby hairs on my wigs so here I am just pulling out some of the baby hairs um, in the wig and I'm clipping away any extra hair that comes along with it um that doesn't need to be a part of the baby hairs like i stated i normally don't have very thick baby hairs i like to have it so very minimal so it looks more natural because when i wear my real hair i i wear baby hairs but it's not excessive it's not it's not grown people hair <laughs> if you catch my drift so and because this is a closure you don't really know that need that many baby hairs i only did two um and that was pretty much it Yes, I feel like some people go OD with having baby hairs on their um, closures when it's not really needed. So I'm taking my hot comb to press in the lace again. I I like when I press it with the hot comb. I think it gives it that ultimate melt that I'm looking for before I even start uh, spraying down any lace spray. So right here again, I'm just making sure that the lace is sitting correctly. I took my Love Reese um spray melting spray and i sprayed it on i sprayed it on the actual um uh, rat tail portion i sprayed that and then what i did there is i just pressed that into my skin um because i realized that the way that the spritz is sometimes it gets in my eyes and it can be a difficult task so i do that first and then i use a spritz to spray it down because it does help it after the fact but luckily i didn't get it in my eye this time again it does kind of get in my eye because of the way that the top of the spritz is so i recommend using it on your rattle comb first if you can and then going ahead and using it to complete the process by smearing it with the rattle comb I think that's the best way to do it. If you have more time and you feel you're more skilled, then yeah, you can go ahead and just spray spray it directly. Just just don't get it into your eye because that stuff does burn. So after I was content with how, how much hold I put on, how much spray I put on, went ahead to go and blow dry our own cool setting again to go ahead and blow dry down those um, that lace so that the uh, the spray can actually adhere to the lace. And after I did that, I believe I went ahead and laid it with the elastic band i don't remember how long I kept the elastic band on again i just when it starts to hurt i take it off i'm taking the alcohol wipe just to wipe down that product pull off any extra product that may have lingered onto the baby hairs because i just spray it and i don't like my baby hairs to have that harsh like a uh, harsh way and i like to have them looking more natural you know I like to sweep my hairs, but I don't want it to be crusty, if that makes any sense. That's what I was doing right here, just making sure that there is no lingering product on the baby hairs so that it doesn't give off like a crusty feeling when I do actually lay my baby hairs. I'm taking my pencil on flat iron to basically curl my baby hair into like a C shape. I curl upward, not downward. Um, I know sometimes when people say they curl downward, I curl upward. Now I'm taking my Lada Bali mousse. And I dabbed a little bit of a lot of body mousse from uh, on the on the uh, from the back of my hand. Then I took the comb version of the uh, the two the two two brush, two brush. Wow, can't talk. Two brush to basically lay down that baby hairs. Now 
I know we're going to do other videos on camera, but I decided to do it this time. And I sped that up because, again, I only did two. I took the pins off of my hair because, um, you know, they were pinned back. And I forgot what. <laughs> so I took it back off of my hair. Here I'm just cutting off those little tacks in the in the corner of the closure because you need to take that off or it's going to look weird if you decide to do um, a flip over because again this is a five by five you do have more parting space to do different styles but i just really like my middle part um even on my frontals i like a middle part more than i like a flip over method or a side part so that's pretty much what i'm doing here just cutting off any excess um lace then after that, I'm taking my uh, wax stick by Reese to use that to very like to give it so that there's no flyaways. And took my hot comb and used the hot comb to press that um, wax stick into the hair. So that's what I was doing for a little bit of time because I wanted it to look very seamless. And that's exactly what I was doing. I do like this hair. It is very bouncy. It's very voluptuous. Um, I have washed it and I can say that it looks very soft after the wash process and I do like the lace. I don't know if the lace is HD but I'll leave all the information about the hair in the description box. I'll also leave how to achieve this color because I didn't do this color and it did not come this way. So I don't want you guys to think, oh yeah, I'm going to get this wig and it's going to look like mine. So that's, that's not the case. It is a regular black 5x5 closure wig. It's not no highlights, there is no ombre, nothing like that. So, um, just keep that in mind. If you're interested in purchasing this hair, I will leave that in the description box below. If you're interested in see how to achieve this color, i also leave the video down below so you guys can take a look at that. So here I'm just doing my finishing touches, um, making sure that everything is seamless and it looks as good as it can be. Obviously this is not my hair, but we like to pretend like it is going with my scalp. And I just took some edge control to put it on the um, top of my baby hair and then I used that comb portion of the edge brush to go ahead and basically clean up any extraness in my baby hairs. Um, I use this way because I want my baby hairs to last the whole time. I wear the wig and like I said previously I normally keep the wig on for at least a week so I like my baby hairs to last a week as much as possible. Um, so that's what I was doing here. Now I'm taking my spritz spray by Fantasia, and so I can really get that ultimate melt. Um, I always do this at the end of my videos. If you've looked at any of my other hair videos, that's exactly what I do, um, and it does help me keep the lace sitting the whole time. Um, I rarely have lifting unless I just forget to wrap my hair down at night or the weather. Um, you can't control the weather and in Texas it does get really hot in the spring slash summer so I I know it's gonna get hotter so um, that's pretty much all I did here I'm just finished doing some fashion touches um, I don't really have much more to say but what I will say is that if you like this look if you like how detailed this video is don't forget to subscribe like and comment and hit that bell so you're gonna be next, no, notified next to my posts um, and that's all I have to say for now because the rest of the video is just me clean up a few things that I've done in other videos. I don't think that a voiceover is needed for that. But um yeah, just keep watching and stay golden babes. Mwah.